As Chicago prepares to host NASCAR's first ever Cup Series street race, major road closures are starting to go into place, including right here at Roosevelt and Columbus. It's definitely cool seeing how fast the cars are going, but uh, I'm excited to see it in the city. As anticipation builds with one week until the NASCAR street race, the city says commuters should know of major closures starting to roll out in and around Grant Park. On Sunday, closures of Jackson Drive between Michigan Ave and Columbus went into place, as well as Columbus in between Jackson and Roosevelt. Many we spoke with say they're not too concerned about the closures for the 2.2 mile race course, even if it could impact their commute. I think getting to and from work might be an issue because I work on Michigan Avenue, but we obviously just came from a walk, so we walk a lot, so I think we're going to be okay. As workers move materials through a closed down Columbus Drive Sunday afternoon, more fencing was being put into place. Nicole Koresh says she just moved to the city but left her car behind, so she doesn't expect any impacts to her commute. No, not at all. <laughs> The city also announcing another temporary closure of westbound Roosevelt between DuSable Lakeshore Drive and Columbus Drive will also go into effect at 9 Sunday night. Still small inconveniences aside, many say they're excited to see the big event come into the city and look forward to watching it in whatever way they can. Definitely will be an outside viewer, yeah, but not, not in, in, in the event. Starting at 6 tomorrow morning, several other major closures will go into place. We have more information on those and the timeline of street closures throughout the week on our website, WGNTV.com. Reporting at Roosevelt and Columbus, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.